Hey, hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon? Coming to you live um, from my car because I'm a moving mama. <laughs> Got a lot going on, leaving for Mexico on Thursday. And so anyways, coming to you live from my car in Chicago, running errands. And just thought I'd stop and answer this question because someone asked this question um, the other day inside of a group. And I just thought it was a really good question. So I wanted to pop in here and just for, you know, a quick 30 second Tuesday tip, um, just answer this question of how do I respond when people, when a prospect says, I don't know if I have time for a side project. So would you like to know how Julie Burke would respond to that? And I'm telling you it works. Um, I would say it works nine times out of 10, this response, you guys, to having the prospect take uh, a closer look at, at what you're offering um, you know, up with your opportunity. So let me know if you would like to, to know what I would say. If you do, drop me a heart below, and I will uh, I really want to say hello to a couple people popping in. It's going to be a really quick live. This is not a, a, a in-depth training by any means. So, hey, what's up, Amy? Hey, Bethany. Bethany says yes. She wants to know. Awesome. Rhonda, hey, what's up? Um, yeah, so as you're tuning in, just pop in, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If you're new to me, drop new. I'd love to give you a shout out. Um, my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of create success with Julie.com. And what I do is I really specialize in helping home-based business entrepreneurs, specifically network marketers, uh, leverage their time by teaching them the strategies to build their brand and their business online. So if you like that, then you want to make sure and, and, uh, smash that follow button and like my page because I've done now, I think uh, over 300 Facebook lives where I've given tips and strategies around building your business and your brand. Okay. Hey, what's up, Tracy? How are you? How are you, Tony? And then also share this out with those that you know that are building um, a team and that are working with prospects, whether it's getting them uh, to try the product or to try the opportunity, because um, I like to keep my responses very short and sweet and to the point when I'm working with prospects. And I find that that is very efficient instead of us going back into selling mode um, to just really overcome their objection because I'm going to tell you right now, the initial objection is not the objection. I talk about this inside of um, my my online course rapid enrollment system, which is basically an A to Z blueprint on how to build a really strong foundational um, asset or business in network marketing, um, utilizing online. If you're not sure about rapid enrollment system and you'd like to check it out, I want you to put R-E-S inside of the comments and I'll make sure to send that over to you so you could uh, check that out. But I've had thousands of students go through rapid enrollment system and I'm going to tell you right now um, with sheer success. I love the success stories. Um, so anyways, I don't have time to go in depth all about overcoming objections, but I do want to talk about this one objection, you guys, because oftentimes we hear there's like 10 major objections, right? Um, we hear the money, we hear, um, you know, time, um, we hear, I don't want to bother friends and family, yada, yada. Like there's, there's 10, I talk about the 10 most popular ones I talk about inside of RES, um, rapid enrollment system. But this one was asked in the group the other day that I'm a part of, and it was, um, again, in case you're just popping in now, um, it was, how do I respond when my prospect says, they don't know if they have the time to look at a side project. Well, like I said, initially the first, ob the objection is not really their true objection, but objections are good because it, it helps you to kind of peel back the layers as we talk about inside of network marketing, right? Like you're peeling back the layers. So I actually love objections. I've learned to love objections and then I've learned how to properly overcome the objection with authenticity, okay? Um, and that's what I teach. I want to teach you how to authentically build your network marketing business and utilize social media. And this is why I teach this. Um, whoever just asked about my puppy, my puppy is great. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you asking. She's amazing. All right. So somebody says that to me. 
Julie, I don't know if I have a time. I just don't know if I have the time to do a side project right now. Right. And now when we get to that point, what I, what I discovered earlier is asking the right questions because great recruiters ask the right questions and know how to listen more. That's another tip I'm going to give you that has helped me to become, um, I've now enrolled over 500 people inside of my network marketing business and created seven figures in this space. And I don't share that to brag. I'm sharing that because I'm telling you, I've gone through the, the valleys and, you know, up and down in my business to learn these skill sets um, and then apply them, right? Everything needs to be applied of what you learn, all right? That's another tip. Don't just be in learning mode, learning mode, learning, learning, learning. Go out and apply and, and practice this stuff. So what I would say back, so let's say her name's Sue. I'd say, you know what, Sue, listen, that's what I do, okay? I show people how to take back control of their time, their finances, and their life. So just let me know if that would be of interest to you. And I go silent, right? Because what Sue is doing is Sue is processing through the silence. And that's really what's key, right? That is what is so key. And oftentimes we get nervous because we get an objection. So we want to keep talking. But if I just tell Sue, well, this is, how would you like to never say that again? So that was, that would be the first thing I would say to Sue when Sue would say, you know what, Julie, I just don't know if I have the time. I would say, Sue, how would you like to never have to say those words again, that you don't have the time? And Sue would say, well, Julie, I'm going to tell you this right now, you guys. I use this line all the time with my people. And I ask them that question. They say, well, I, again, nine times out of ten, they say, that, that would be amazing. That would be great. Yes, I would love that. And then I say, great. Well, that's what I do. I show people how to take back control of their time, their finances, and their life. So you just let me know if that would be of interest to you. Can we get an amen, you guys? Because that's all it takes. And oftentimes we want to overthink the process. Or we might just totally skip over the objection. And we might say, well, if you know anyone who's interested, just let me know. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't stop. Like, you guys, seriously, go after that objection and freaking crush it. Crush that objection, all right? Um, so I just wanted to hop on here and, and, and just let you know the response of what I responded to this woman because she was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> and so again, it's how would you like to never say that again? You know what? I don't know if I have the money to get started on your $200 pack. Well, Sue, how would you like to never have to say that again? Wouldn't it be cool if I could teach you a way so then you could go out there and never have to use those words again to say, I don't know if I'll have the money to buy those shoes or I don't know if I'll have the money to go on that trip. Wouldn't that be something else? Wouldn't that be amazing? Sue would say, yeah, of course that would be amazing. Great. Well, let me show you how we can do this. Do you have five minutes? Sure. Sure. Like, who the heck doesn't have five minutes so I could show them? So, again, it's up to them, right? It's a simple yes or no, but it's up to you to learn how to properly guide them to making that decision and overcoming their objection. That's your job. Does that make sense? Holla. I love Nicole. Holla. All right, guys, listen, I have more amazing tips like this all about recruiting, prospecting, uh, branding, using social media. Oh my gosh. Overcoming objection, closing team development, becoming the leader you want to be and duplication all inside of rapid enrollment system. So if you'd like to check it out, like I said, just drop RES. Um, that was my tip of the day. Smash that share button and share this out with your teams, you guys, because I will tell you sometimes I will pick people out that share and I will offer them a 20 minute free coaching session. I did this last week with um, those that shared out my um, live. I did it last week and Lisa was the winner and I announced the winner. Like I don't just not announce the winner, you guys. I announce the winner. So put share in the comments when you share this out so I know and I can check and make sure that you did share this out. Or you could tag. You could tag your team members. You could do that as well, okay? Um, so if you're just tuning in, go back to the beginning. Check it out. This mama's got to run. I got to go shopping because I am overcoming a severe allergic reaction I had. And this is why I'm keeping these glasses on, you guys. I look like the State Puff Marshmallow Man around my eyes. It was the most awful thing ever. Um, 
uh, it was off of an eye gel, by the way. Like, ladies, be careful with what you put on your skin. And I'm dumb. I should know to always look at ingredients. Never, ever again. Um, I grabbed it on a whim in Costco, that dang Costco with their samples, right? Um, thank you, Lisa, for sharing. I appreciate it. Um, so anyways, leaving for Mexico on Thursday. So everyone, you guys, listen, have an awesome, awesome week. Those that put RES, I will make sure to get the link to, to you so you could check that out and also share away and you might win a free 20-minute coaching session with me. All right, guys, be blessed. Love you.